Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I have a very special cake recipe for you guys and I've been making my maple pecan cake with maple French buttercream. This video is sponsored by Maple from Canada. 100% pure maple syrup from Canada's flavor is unmatched and as a natural sweetener it's a really great alternative to regular sugar and baked goods and desserts such as this maple cake. And for today's video recipe I will not be using any regular sugar. I'm just going to be using maple syrup to sweeten the cake layer and to make the incredible maple frosting. You guys are going to love the incredible flavors of this cake. Let's get started. I'm going to show you how to make this delicious dessert. I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm going to start today's recipe off with a maple pecan cake batter. So into a large mixing bowl, I'm going to add in one cup of buttermilk and the buttermilk is just going to make the cake layer so light and fluffy. You guys are going to love it. Next, I'm going to add in three quarter cups of cooking oil one teaspoon of vanilla extract, four large eggs, and now for the maple syrup, today I'll be using one and a quarter cups of pure maple syrup and 100% pure maple syrup from Canada is naturally derived directly from maple tree sap. And unlike mass-produced syrups that contain a slurry of sugars and artificial flavors and corn syrups, real maple syrup just has one ingredient and it's 100% pure maple. I'm gonna add this maple syrup into my cake batter. Next, I'm going to grab my hand mixer and mix everything together for about two to three minutes until the eggs are well beaten. And now for my dry ingredients, I have three cups of all-purpose flour. To that, I'm going to be adding in two teaspoons of baking powder, two teaspoons of baking soda, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Just mix everything together. And I'm going to sift the dry ingredients into my cake batter. And you always want to do this to ensure that you don't end up with any clumps of flour in your cake batter. And I'm going to grab my hand mixer and mix the flour into the batter just until it's incorporated. It takes about a minute. And now for my last ingredient, I have one and a half cups of finely diced pecans. Drop those in and then I'll use my spatula to fold them into the cake batter. I've lined three eight inch cake pans with parchment paper and now I'm going to divide this cake batter evenly between the three pans using a large spoon. And then I'm going to grab my offset spatula and spread this cake batter evenly to the edges. We want nice, even, beautiful cake layers. And my maple pecan cake layers are ready to go into the preheated oven. I'm going to bake them at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 25 to 20 minutes or until a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean and the top should have a beautiful golden color. Once they're done baking, take them out of the oven and let them cool completely on a wire rack. Then we'll come back to make our maple French buttercream. And check out these maple pecan cake layers. They turned out so beautiful. I'm just going to let them cool completely on the wire rack. You want to make sure that they are completely cooled before you start assembling your cake. Otherwise, the warm cake layers will melt your buttercream. And now let's get started on the maple French buttercream. This is my all time favorite frosting. It's made with egg yolks, hot syrup, and then the butter is slowly added in there. It's just so silky and smooth and delicious. And I'm so excited that I can make this recipe today with no sugar. It's actually gonna be made with just pure maple syrup. We're going to need one cup of pure maple syrup. Now measure that out. And you can use pure maple syrup to add a subtle sweetness and a hint of maple flavor to fresh fruit, ice cream, cereals. You can even sweeten your tea and coffee with it. And I'm going to pour my maple syrup into a small saucepan and I've attached a candy thermometer to the side. And now I'm going to heat my maple syrup over medium heat until it reaches 240 degrees Fahrenheit. It usually takes about five to six minutes to reach that temperature and I highly recommend using a candy thermometer. And while my maple syrup is cooking and coming up to temperature, I'm going to get started on my egg yolks. So I have five large egg yolks. I'm going to drop them into my mixer bowl. And I'm going to whisk the egg yolks for just a few minutes on high speed until they're thick and pale. 
My maple syrup just reached 240 degrees Fahrenheit and now I have to work quickly so immediately after it reaches temperature I'm going to turn my mixer on and I'm going to pour the hot maple syrup into my egg yolks at a slow speed. I've added all my maple syrup, but now I'm going to turn my mixer speed up to high and whisk the egg yolks with the syrup for about seven to eight minutes until the mixture has cooled down. It should be just lukewarm and it'll be really light and fluffy. I've softened two cups of unsalted butter at room temperature and now I'm ready to add the butter into the egg yolk and maple syrup mixture. I'm going to add in a couple tablespoons at a time and give it a good whisk after each addition. Now, as you start adding the butter into the buttercream, it's going to start to look really funny, almost like it's separated and you ruined the buttercream, but you didn't. Just keep adding the butter. When you add that last little bit of butter, that last half cup, it's really going to start to pull together and it's going to form the most beautiful, silky smooth buttercream. You guys are gonna love it. And once I've added in all the butter, I'm going to add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract, scrape down the sides of the mixing bowl, and then whisk it for another two to three minutes. My buttercream is all done and I wanted you guys to check out this texture. This buttercream is so light and fluffy. It's really silky and smooth. It's going to be the perfect complement for our maple pecan cake layers. And now it's time to put this amazing cake together. So my maple pecan cake layers have cooled completely. I have my maple buttercream all ready to go. I also measured out an additional one third cup of pure maple syrup. I'm going to use this to brush it onto the cake layers to soak them lightly and add even more maple flavor to the cake. And the first thing I'm going to do is grab a long serrated knife. I'm going to level off the top of each layer. I'm going to lightly soak each cake layer with a little bit of that maple syrup. And then add on a generous amount of the French buttercream. And I'm going to use an offset spatula to spread the frosting evenly to the edges. I've added my second cake layer and I'm going to repeat the same process with the maple syrup and the buttercream. And I'm going to add my final cake layer. I already pre-soaked it with a little bit of maple syrup. I'm going to invert it onto the top of the cake and this way we have a really beautiful level top to work with. And now I'm going to apply my crumb coat of frosting and this coat is supposed to seal in all the crumbs, all the little crevices and once I've applied this thin layer of frosting I'm going to place the cake into the refrigerator and let it chill in there for about 20 minutes then we'll come back to add our final layer of buttercream. And now for the final layer. So apply a layer of frosting that's a little bit thicker, just enough to cover up the cake slices. And now for decorating the size of the cake, I have about a cup and a half of finely diced pecans and I'm just going to very gently start pressing them into the sides of the cake. I transferred my remaining buttercream into a pastry bag and today I'm using a French star tip number four and I'm going to add dollops of cream on top. I'm just going to make this cake look extra special. Mm -hmm. 
and I'll sprinkle some more diced pecans over the top, especially in the center. Just be generous with the pecans. And how stunning is this maple pecan cake? It turned out so stunning. Now it's time to cut into it to see what it looks like on the inside. So you wanna use a sharp knife for this step. And check this out. Doesn't that look so delicious? We have those delicate maple pecan cake layers and that maple French buttercream with the extra pecans on the outside. This is going to taste so, so delicious. And that is it guys for my maple pecan cake. It looks so incredibly delicious. This is going to be so perfect for fall and Thanksgiving or really anytime you're craving for some maple flavor. For the full recipe, don't forget to head on down in the video description box. I have a link there that'll take you over to my website where you'll find this full recipe and you can share it with your family and friends. Now time to dig in and enjoy. This looks so good. I love all the layers of the pecan, cake layers with the maple frosting. It's gonna be so good. Mmm, mm-hmm. Just wow, this has to be the best maple pecan recipe out there. It is so incredibly delicious, starting with those maple pecan cake layers. They're so delicate and moist, and I love that hint of maple coming through with the crunchy pecans. It's so good. I especially really like that maple syrup, the extra syrup that we use to soak the cake layers with. It really shines through, adds even more flavor. But the flavor doesn't stop there. We also have that maple French buttercream, which is so delicious all on its own, but combined with the cake layers, it is just magical. If you guys love maple and pecans, this is the cake recipe for you. It is a must try. Don't forget to head on down in the video description box for the full link for the recipe. Thank you to Maple from Canada for sponsoring this video. I hope you guys enjoy this cake at home and I'll see you next time with a new recipe.